I'm Caitlin Bailey, and today, I'm the face of America. I would say that the only way that we're going to end human trafficking in this country is by decriminalizing sex work. No one is more committed to ending violence and exploitation in the sex trade than sex workers themselves. That's why it's so important to listen to us. My name is Caitlin Bailey. I'm the Director of Communications for Decriminalized Sex Work. I am out as a sex worker and I have a tendency at parties to describe myself as a professional mouthy whore. I was raised in a military family, so I was uh, born in Tacoma, Washington. Uh, before I was one, we moved to Texas, and before I was two, we moved to, to Germany, where I grew up and where my father retired. I grew up as a soldier's daughter, so I always knew that my father was fighting for freedom. I, I do think that there's a lot of uh, hypocrisy and absurdity when it comes to legislating um, adult sex life. I personally don't believe that it's the business of a government or any police officer uh, if two grown-ups want to have sex with each other, whether there's money exchanged or not, it's nobody's business. We're not looking to nationalize the Nevada model. That's legalization and strict regulation. Uh, Nevada has the only legal brothels in America, but it has the highest arrest rate per capita for prostitution in the country. That's not the system we're looking to replicate. We just want to stop the arrests. So in order to do that, we have to decriminalize sex work, not regulate it or legalize it um, in the same way that we did with uh, gay rights. You know, it's not like if you want to do butt stuff with your buddy, you've got to go talk to a bureaucrat about it. We just stopped arresting people for having any kind of sex we don't like. The thing that everyone knows about sex work is that it's the oldest profession. So even your 70-year-old grandmother or a politician or a pastor has thought about or been exposed to the idea of people exchanging sex for money. It's in the Bible. Jesus actually spent a lot of time with prostitutes. Well, our organization started after the passage of SESTA-FOSTA. Uh, we're a group of dedicated professionals. I, myself, am a stand-up comedian and out as a sex worker, and I'm happy to take on this advocacy role. I'm joined by Crystal DeBoss, who is an anti-trafficking expert in this country. She got one of the first anti-trafficking grants under the Clinton administration and has dedicated her life's work to helping people who feel forced or coerced into the sex trade. And Melissa, uh, Melissa Bruto is an attorney, an incredible attorney, um, who actually won the first vacature case in this country, making it easier for victims of trafficking to clear their records. What I want to say to, to men or to clients of sex workers, um, who are not all men, um, so what I want to say to clients of sex workers is that this is your fight too. John's things are happening all over the country. If people as powerful and influential as Robert Kraft can be publicly humiliated and raked through the coals, they're absolutely coming for you. So make sure that you listen to sex workers and join us in our fight so that we can stop the arrests.